this is a huge honor and I want to say thank you very much. Um, this organization means so much to so many. Um, it's been able to help you know, countless number of people. I think any time you, you get voted in by, uh, by your peers, it's, it's always very humbling, it's very exciting. Uh, I've got some big shoes to fill in, in those of Daryl Mitchell, who's done a fantastic job over his time in, in the four years that he's been in the position. I've always been someone who's, who's wanted to be involved and, and to give back to the game that, that's you know, done so much for me. Myself and, and Heather Knight were we sort of appointed vice chairs to, to give a better uh, kind of player representation um, on the board of the PCA. And then, and then I always thought that, that if I had the opportunity to go and, and to, you know, to succeed um, Daryl in, you know, in becoming the next chair, then I'd try. So, um, so yeah, it's very flattering, really, that, um, that guys from around the country have I've seen me fit to kind of take on the mantle that um, that he's built in recent times and, and to push things forward. I don't think we fully realise all the things that have to happen behind the scenes before we bowl a ball every season, um, and things that are just ongoing all the time that you wouldn't think about when you you know you turn up to training and and have a bat and a bowl and do some practice and then you know get prepared for a game. There's so much that has to happen, you know, for all this to take place. Um, so to be a part of that has been quite eye-opening, um, and there'll be a lot of challenges, you know. We've had so many already in terms of last summer, how structures had to change, uh, behaviours had to change, systems of, of working had to change to be able to get cricket games on. But moving forward, the closer we can get back to normality and playing is, is important for, I think, for everybody. I mean, look, Daryl probably couldn't have had a busier period on his, you know, on his watch, really, well, whilst he's been, been in position. You know, he's had so much on his plate and I'm sure he's had plenty of sleepless nights and and time spent trying to deal with all this and he's done a brilliant job and I think that we all owe him um, you know, a huge amount of gratitude for all the work he's done for everybody behind the scenes and, and seen us to this point now, which, you know, it's just been amazing. So, so more of the same um, is what's required and it's going to fall onto me now, I suppose, to try and continue the work or some of the great work that he's done.